Hi, if you're new to my channel, I'm Claire. Today we're gonna to be doing a routine all about healthy shoulders. All you need is a band and we are gonna get started. So we're gonna come into our cat cow position. We're gonna do 30 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. So we're gonna inhale round the spine and then exhale, arch and look up. Good, so this is just a nice warm up for your spine, your shoulders, your neck. And you can flow through this at your own pace, whatever is comfortable for you. Good, okay, we're gonna come down onto our stomachs and do some W raises. So arms out to the side, we're gonna lift up hold and then come back down good so as you lift up I want you to think about squeezing your shoulder blades together and squeezing your glutes good try to pull these shoulders down and back as you come up Alrighty, already on to our third move. We are gonna do some band pull apart so you can sit cross-legged if you want, or you can come onto your knees. You're gonna have your band out in front of you. Pull, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then come forward with control. What we don't wanna do, keep going, is pull really far and then let the band swing back. We wanna have control the whole time. Good, last 10 seconds. It's a really good one for desk workers because so often we're hunched over like this. This one helps to open up. All right, we've got two moves and then we're gonna go back to the top. This is a kind of dislocate. So we're gonna have our hands just wider than shoulder width. We're gonna come up just behind the head and then all the way back down. Good, so inhale, behind the head and come back down. With this one, go as far as is comfortable for you. If here, if it's here, if it's here, wherever it is, that's totally fine. Good. If you wanna take it to another level, you can come all the way around and back down if you want. Just be mindful of your shoulders. Good, all right, we have got one more exercise here. We're gonna be doing some wall slides. You know, if you find a wall, lower back pressed against it, arms out to the side, and then pressing from the elbow to the shoulder, you're gonna lift up as high as you can go, lower back still against the wall, and then come back down. This one can be really tight and uncomfortable. You can take breaks as you need to, but just come as high as is comfortable for you. Good, this one really pushes the shoulders back. Woo. All right, one round done. We're gonna repeat two more times. So we're gonna come back into our cat cow. And now that you know the moves a little bit better, you can kind of put your own spin on it. Good, so we're gonna alternate between arching and rounding. And if you wanna add some extra movement this time, if you wanna sway your hips, feel free to do so. Good. really think about pressing in and down through your hands as you open up your back. Good, all right, coming right back down to our W raises. If you don't wanna raise your legs up, you can just do the arms and then come back down as well. All right, here we go. Up, squeeze, and come back down. Good, halfway with this one. Take your time. Maybe don't put your hair in a ponytail like me. See what it's in your face. <laughs> Good. And down. All right, coming right back to those band pull aparts. Closer your hands are together, it's gonna be harder. Farther apart, it's gonna be a little bit easier. So open, squeeze, and 
come back down. If you can do this in front of a mirror, you can see sometimes people have one shoulder up higher or another shoulder up higher. And you can try to even out those shoulders as you pull. Good, halfway. And even if you don't have a band, you can always do this exercise with your imaginary band. It's still a great movement to pull and open up your chest and shoulders. Good, all right, we're coming back into those dislocates. You can also do this with like a wooden stick if you want to. It's just a little bit more challenging. Good, so we're gonna inhale, come up and over, and exhale, come back down. I always think this stretch feels so nice at the top, like a hard nice. <laughs> Good, roll your shoulders out as you need to. Ten seconds to go. Good, all right, last up we've got our wall slide again. And if you don't have a wall, I should have said this last time, you can definitely do this one in the air if you need to. Good, so lower back, elbows against the wall, shoulders against the wall, up we go. I will say this move is a remarkable one to see progress on. If you take a video of yourself doing it, do it a couple times a week for a few weeks, you'll probably see some big changes. Okay, halfway. I always like to say breathe when it gets tough. Alrighty, we've got one more round left to go. Back to our cat cow. Your upper body is gonna be so happy after this. Or maybe I'm happy. <laughs> All right, back to our rounding and arching. This time, if you want to add a child's pose and then come back into your rounding and arching, you're more than welcome to. And don't forget about the neck on this one. When you look up, you get a really nice stretch all the way through here. All right, coming down to our W raises. Good, so up, squeeze, and back down. Good, if you wanna make it a lot harder, you can hold out the top for longer. If you wanna make it easier, take more breaks at the bottom. This one is a little bit harder to do in your office or at your desk, so it's a good one to do at home. Alrighty, and pole parts. This one, good one to do at your desk. If you keep a band in your drawer, you can easily pull it out. Good. And if you're using a band and you're finding it's pretty easy and you can get to 15 or 20 reps, try getting a heavier band and use that one so you can keep on challenging your body. Good, last few reps of this one. Keep squeezing. All right, last two moves back to our Overhead, just the case. Here we go. Good. good. Over and down. This is another good one to see progress on. You might just be up to shoulder level, and you'll notice yourself over time being able to get a little bit higher as you work on it. Another good one to do at your desk as well. Three. All right, final move. My favorite, my least favorite, our wall slide. Here we go. Nice. And back down. Good. Some people like to bend their elbows a little bit more and do more of a rounded motion. Other people like to keep their arms a little bit wider. Do whatever feels good for you. Whew, take breaks if you need to. Last 10 seconds, stay strong.
good. We've got three, two, and one. Yay, you did it. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope your upper body feels good. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next workout.